Since the Sephora VIB sale is going on right now, no matter who you are, you can get 30% off the Sephora collection of makeup, brushes, skincare, everything. It's a great way to try out their line. And I wanted to tell you, I don't know if you know this or not, but the Sephora brand itself is owned by, I can't remember whether it's Gucci, Chanel, or Dior. I can't remember. It might be Valentino. Okay, I will make sure I put it up on the screen which one it is, but it is really high end because they take those formulas that they use in that super luxury makeup and they put it into their makeup. So I'm about to give you a, just a few of my very, very favorite ones so that you can decide whether or not this is something that you would like to purchase yourself. Now, just as a reminder, we do have a numbering system on my channel where we go one through however many products we get through. When I hold up a product, a number will come up on the screen. You can remember that number, go down into the description box, open it up, and that next to that number will be the product along with the link in any color that I my, myself wear or what I'm recommending today. We will at the very end also have just a little bit of what I have on today for fashion. I get asked that a lot, so I decided to put that at the very end. So that all being said, let's talk about some Sephora collection makeup that I absolutely love. Before I talk about my first product, I definitely want to tell you that the brushes are super high, beautiful quality. I love their makeup masks, their wipes, their clean skincare is phenomenal. I actually really like all of that. I'm so overloaded right now with brushes and skincare that I don't think that I could buy any more and stuff them into the drawers that I have. So I'm just sticking with what I have, but I do want to tell you that those particular products are fantastic. Let's talk about our first product, and that is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation, as soon as it came out, I tried it because I was absolutely blown away by all of the colors. Went into the store, tried a bunch on and found my color. Went home, tried this on and just was like, wow, this is a great formula. And now that I know that it's made by one of those super luxury companies, I know why. This is very full coverage, so you need a very tiny bit, especially if you're a mature woman. By the way, I'm 55 years old and I have dry skin, and this does work on me. It is more along the lines of a matte foundation, so if you like the little bit of a radiant look or you like a little bit of a dewy finish, you might wanna put a drop of oil in this or you might wanna put a luminizing primer into it. I also would say that you don't necessarily need a primer with this, but it does look a little bit better with the primer long lasting. It lasts me all day long. It's perfecting. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. If you're wondering why I'm not showing you anything tried on in this particular video. I am experiencing a little bit of health issues still. I'm just, you know, teetering. And I love that you guys always step up and you're always giving me that encouragement. Don't worry about me. I'm doing fine. It's just a bit of exhaustion, really. And so I get done up and I'm doing this and it's just a little bit harder to film everything. Now, the next year they came out with their best skin ever concealer same thing i ran out and got it because i love the best skin foundation and woo i love this stuff this is a full coverage foundation it is a medium thickness so you need so very little of it so you know go light on it and then if you need a little bit more you know go back in and put a little bit more on but it's pretty it's so pretty and this is a very very long lasting i was really shocked at how it didn't crease and it didn't break apart because i sweat so much underneath my eyes i do set this down with a little bit of powder after it's dried down itself but just a beautiful concealer and i can definitely give my stamp of approval to that one their eyeliners they have several this is the retractable one that has the smudge thing thingy whatever that is i say thingy so much my kids just crack up this is one of the ones that i love because it is retractable super creamy super smooth liners so again this is called the sephora retractable waterproof eyeliner this one is in glitter green so it has a little bit of reflex of glitter in it which i think is so pretty you can smudge this out or you can use it as an intense liner this one doesn't stay in the waterline as good as the next one that i'm going to show you but as far as smudging out and staying there all day uh, you know as a regular eyeliner so pretty i absolutely love it and then the next one is called the sephora 12 hour colorful crayon and this is in waterfall and it's a little bit of a shimmer as well these 
rival any high-end ones. This one is a little bit more teal, that one's a little bit more green, and this one does have a little bit of silver glitter in it, which I think is so pretty especially if you're on a date night or if you have a party to go to so so beautiful now this one with the teal just smooth buttery and every time that i use this one i just go into my water line i put you know a line of it down and then i let it sit there for a few seconds and then i'll put it down again it's so pretty now if you're wondering what i have on my face today i did do a sephora recommendations where i recommended 25 products very recently so I will make sure that I list that video below as well and you can go watch that one as soon as this one's over now I always talk about Sephora's lip products because I am sold by their lip products the ones that I have been recommending for about eight years I've been on YouTube eight coming up eight years and these have been in almost every single Sephora recommendations video for a reason because they're that darn beautiful these are called the Sephora Rouge gel lip liner this particular one is in rum raisin it's kind of a very deepened plummy mauve color I love this. You can use this as a lip liner. You can use this as your lip color. What I do is I use these two colors together. This next color is called Midday Rose. I use these two together. They blend seamlessly together and they are my lipstick color when I do that. And oh my goodness. So I'm going to show you the two of them together here and I want to just kind of smudge across there. So there's the two of them and then I want to smudge up and I want you to see how beautifully seamless they are when they are smudged together. So pretty. And of course you can smudge them more. I just don't want to get the colors too muddled together so you can't see. Great formula. Creamy like a lipstick almost. So they're not matte at all. They don't tug. You know, if you have mature lips and you just have a really hard time with lip liners because they tug, these don't tug. They're, they're beautiful. Another one is the Rouge Shine Lipstick. I think it's called Rouge Shine Lipstick, but it's from the Sephora brand. And I just wanted to show you this one color because I feel like it's a universal pink. I really love it. Now it's a, a definitely a pink. So if you don't like pinks, they have other colors for you, but this is definitely pink. And I can't remember which one it is. It'll be listed down below. But these shine lipsticks act like a balm with a ton of pigment in them. And they are gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love wearing these especially in the summer when i'm always wanting a balm but i really want to elevate and have a pretty color on there this is it it's pretty really really pretty so i want you to know that these ones that are their balm type lipsticks are the balm and then i always share with you these glossed glosses from sephora and i just wanted to share two colors with you today both of these colors are like tri-color um, toppers this one is called Money. It's the one that looks gold in the tube right there. It's got this gold look, but it also shifts between gold and pink, and it's pretty. It just looks gold right there, but as I move, hopefully you'll be able to see that there is some pink in there. So beautiful. This is one that I recommend every single time. I'm like, if you're going to get any, just go get this one called Money, because I don't care if you like the gold colors or not. Put it on top of any lipstick it's gonna look like a million bucks it's so pretty and then this one is called wild and i love this one too it has reflex of pink and purple and it's a gorgeous topper this is one a lot like the fenty as a matter of fact i may have just found a dupe so just beautiful just beautiful on that and when you're getting the 30 percent off you just can't beat that and then lastly the outrageous plump lip glosses this one is starstruck pink this one has again been in my recommendations for as long as i can remember i just have loved this a long 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 time again just a topper but this one is a true pink topper no glitter in this you can't see any glitter in actually any of these really now that i'm kind of going across there and looking no glitter whatsoever and then the other one i would say this kind of looks like a corally pink color so it, this one is really pretty too i love this one in summer because it really does a great reflect and it just looks so pretty i really like these they're they're great formula i like the sparkly ones or the ones that have that beautiful reflect in them more than i like just a cream one but they do have the cream ones so if you are looking at the lawless forget the filler but that price tag kind of scares you away this one is good too and they do have a lot of cream colors in it all right that's it for the makeup let's check out what i have on now all right girlfriends here's the outfit of the day 
I have on this beautiful blue sweater, which I'm in love with, ribbed, it has a v-neck, and it also has some great gold accents with the buttons, and you can either push it up or leave it down, whichever you want. It is, I would say, medium weight sweater. It does come down over the booty, so you can wear it a little bit lower. Also, my stretchy pants in black. Last time I brought them to you in blue. This time they are in black and they stretch. I actually can size down in these and they work just fine. The boots, the boots are my favorite part of this outfit today. These are a knee-high boot, slouchy. They have the buckle accents on them. They're black suede. I absolutely love them. Then to pull the whole thing together, I have this adorable bucket bag. This is so cute. It has the drawstring, well, fringe first. The last purse I showed you had fringe on it. This part that has the tassels on it, that will draw up and close it up for you. It just has the one main pocket, but it does have the regular zipper pocket in the back, and then the two in the front for your glasses or your, eye, your phone or whatever you want to put in here. And dang, I am in love with this purse. I hope that you like the outfit today. Let's take a look at the jewelry. Okay, so I just stayed right here on this side of the room while we're doing the jewelry. The jewelry is a chunky gold chain that I've had for a while. I love to wear chunky jewelry. It's just my thing these are really cute too they are like i would say maybe a one and a quarter inch hoop they're super light they look like they'd be really heavy but they're not i can't wear heavy earrings you know it pulls my lobe down seen too many older women with that and i just don't do that but these are really light so that is all the jewelry that i'm wearing today and that's the outfit that's it for today's video i hope that you did enjoy seeing all of my recommendations for the Sephora favorites since everyone can get 30% off. It's a great way to get some really quality makeup and not break the bank. Now I do have another video that you can go and look at where last year where I did a complete fall look on my face with all Sephora makeup. So I will link that below as well so you can go take a look at that. If you have any recommendations from the Sephora line, thank you so much for stopping by and being with me for a little bit. Hope that you're having a fantastic day. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much. Goodbye, my friends.